So today, folks, we are going to be talking about TikTok's biggest criminal, the person who has done quite arguably the worst offence that we've ever seen on the app. And it's Michaela Naguera, of course, and if you aren't already aware of the absolutely disgusting acts that Michaela has done in the past, let me just remind you. So about a month ago, Michaela reviewed a mascara. She then applied said mascara in the video, but then secretly put some fake eyelashes on to make it look like the mascara was better than it was. She's a monster! But now, as much as I am being sarcastic, you can see exactly why people are annoyed by this, because it's quite literally Michaela's job to review makeup products so her viewers can see what the best product is and they can decide what to spend their hard-earned money on. So when you have someone whose reviews are so well-respected and people will listen to whatever she says, the fact that she's now lying in her reviews is a big concern. Especially considering it was so blatantly obvious that she was wearing fake eyelashes that even I could see that she was wearing them, okay? And I know fuck all about makeup. In fact, in one of Michaela's recent videos, people thought that she was now finally admitting that she lied about this mascara thing the whole time. And would it be a Michaela look without this infamous combo the L'Oreal telescopic lift in a pair of Adele Wispies. So obviously people thought this was Michaela admitting that she lied the whole time, but then it gets even more confusing that when people brought this up in the comment section, she replied saying, no, I'm trolling. Which like I said, is very confusing because that insinuates that she didn't lie the whole time and she's now trolling the people who thought she was lying. But the problem is, it was blatantly obvious that she's lying. I mean, let's be honest here, if she wasn't lying in that review and she saw all the backlash she got, she would just make a follow-up video applying the mascara with zero cuts in it to kind of prove that it wasn't a lie. It's a very simple solution, isn't it? But like I said in my previous videos talking about Michaela, I have absolutely zero knowledge about makeup, okay? The fact that she lied about mascara doesn't affect my life in a single slightest. But what does annoy me about this is it's another case of an influencer lying about a product that they've been paid to advertise, knowing fine well that their audience then going to buy the product and be severely disappointed. It's basically the same as any of the crypto scams you've seen from influencers in the past. Like, yeah, it's nothing to do with crypto. It might not cost you as much money, but you are just lying to your audience and they're going to spend their hard-earned money on products that they've been lied about. It's kind of the same. But it turns out that this isn't the first time that Michaela's done this. In fact, she has done this on numerous occasions. Now, I do need to give credit to Spill Sesh for finding these because, like I said, don't know anything about makeup. I wouldn't have a clue where to start with all of this. So here's another example of Michaela lying about a product, all right? Here she is reviewing some eyebrow thing. I would love to give you the technical name for it, but like I said earlier, don't have a clue. I do know the brand has got to be because my hairspray is the same brand, so already I know more about this than I ever did about the mascara thing. But the main thing you need to see here is that the caption says, in my opinion, best my brows have ever looked, period. But then you fast forward a few months and Michaela posts a new video called Products I Absolutely Regret Buying. And as you can see here, she's got the got to be, uh, eyebrow thing. And of course, you're gonna have people pissed off in the comments saying things like, literally just bought the got to be of Amazon because one of your older videos. Well, that's a waste of $10. To which Michaela replied saying, it's a good product, but I just prefer NYX or NYX or however you're supposed to pronounce that. She's even replied to more comments of people who are annoyed saying that she lied about the product in the first place. And she's saying stuff like, I never said I loved it, even though the caption quite literally said it's the best her eyebrows have ever looked. Now, obviously this begs the question, why is Michaela just lying about products? Why is she being so overly positive about products when in reality, she doesn't seem to think they're that great. Well, this is where we get to the interesting part, and it's from Spill Sesh's video talking about how influencers can post TikToks that can later be sponsored. If a creator makes a video and they're raving about a product saying all these good things about it, a brand can actually reach out to you and buy your video. So what she's saying here is that Michaela can post a review for a product that isn't sponsored originally. But if she is overly positive about the product, the brand might see it and think, that would be really good for our advertisement. Why don't we pay Michaela for that video so we now own it and we can use it as part of our ads to get people to buy the product. And Spill Sesh even goes on to show her For You page where it was just littered with Michaela's sponsored videos. I got three videos of Michaela basically in a row of her 
getting sponsored by multiple brands. And she even goes further to show that if you go to Michaela's own TikTok account and look for the certain review that is now sponsored, it doesn't say it's sponsored on Michaela's page, but she is getting as a sponsored post on a For You page. Basically proving that the video was originally posted without being a sponsor, and then they saw the review and thought that'd be great as an ad, so we're now going to pay to sponsor that video. And the reason why this is very interesting is because it might make sense as to why Michaela just willingly lies in her videos about her opinions on these products. Maybe when she reviewed this got to be eyebrow brush, she said it was the best eyebrow brush she's ever used because she had hopes that got to be might sponsor her and pay her for this video. Obviously it doesn't seem like that ever happened because she's now saying that she completely regrets buying the product. And I realise if you're watching this video right now and you don't give a single shit about makeup, you might be thinking, why is this such a big deal? But let me put this in perspective for you. Let's say you're a big fan of tech, okay? You like Marquez Brownlee's videos where he reviews the new iPhones, the new laptops, all that shit, right? Imagine if you're looking for a new laptop to buy and you trust Marquez Brownlee's opinion. So you go over to his video, you see that he's posted a video reviewing a certain laptop and he says it's the best laptop he's ever used. You're probably gonna buy that laptop, aren't you? Because you trust his opinion. But what if you later found out that he just lied about his opinion in that video and he doesn't think it's a good laptop and you've now just spent god knows how much money on a laptop that realistically isn't very good. It's a big problem, it would quite literally ruin his career because no one would trust him anymore but for some reason people just seem to kind of forget it about Michaela. It's a weird world. If you're going to be reviewing products, you've got to have some level of integrity and you've got to give your honest opinion and you can't just see what brand's willing to pay you the most money because at the end of the day, you're going to end up just not scamming your viewers, but kind of scamming your viewers. Like, yeah, it still is a makeup product that you can use, but you've just lied about how good it is and... That's a bit scammy. It's pretty much the same thing as when I covered the Kenza Cosmetics situation many years ago. And by the way, if you're still around from them days, then congratulations, you've put up with me for far too many years. <laughs> and the problem there was that influencers were promoting these makeup brushes, more specifically Gabby Hanna and Tana Mojo. And they were trying to say that these makeup brushes were $90 quality, but you could get them for free, and all you have to do is pay for the shipping, but the shipping prices were extortionate, and you could actually buy them makeup brushes for way less than what the shipping prices were. There's also recently been another very similar situation with these Kamakoto knives that influencers are promoting, saying that these knives have like ridiculously good steel quality and all this shit, and then it turned out that it's just a bunch of lies and it's a really cheap knife that's selling for a very premium price. And there's so many other examples. Influencers do this all the time and it seems like Michaela is no different. But it doesn't really seem to be affecting Michaela much because if you go to a TikTok, she's still getting millions of views. She's still doing her makeup product reviews. She's still getting sponsored and whatnot. And people seem to have forgot about it. But I would love to know your opinions down below if you do use makeup. Do you still trust Michaela? Would you buy a product if she said it was good? please let me know in the comment section down below. And if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new, and also, if any video editors are out there and want to maybe work for the Market channel in the future, please send me a message on Instagram on atcalamarkey and send me some of your previous work, and yeah, I'm looking for an editor, so that could be you. And yeah, without further ado, I'll see you guys in a bit, alright? Goodbye.